Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with If I Could Choose Only One Work by Composer X, it would have to be Work F. Well, Composer X is the great French composer Rameau, who, well, I mean, he was big, really, really big. He sort of established what French dramatic music and, or instrumental music for that matter, was going to be for the ensuing, well, like until now. Kind of amazing. An incredible talent, um, a theoretical genius, uh, an intimidating presence in French music. And work F has to be his first big tragic opera, Hippolyte et Arissi. Um, this is based on Racine's opera, Fred. I mean, Fedre. You know, we used to call her Fred. When I was taking French lit, we had to read Fred in French. And uh, then we went to see it. We went to see it at the Yale Rep, the Yale Repertory Theater in New Haven. And uh, I remember the production vividly because, because Fred, the star, the lead character, was played by an actress who thought that the most appropriate way to you know, encapsulate the role was kind of as Vera in the sitcom Alice. You know, the dumb waitress? That's what she was like. And then Hippolyte was this strange little, little guy who was not right for that role at all. We were kind of grateful when he got like swallowed up by the sea monster. And then, and then of course, there's Alicia, who is pretty and sort of dumb. And, and the plot and Theseus, let's not forget Theseus. Theseus was I mean, it was a weird production. Let's put it that way. My my French teacher, Madame Katz, who was just marvelous, absolutely a marvelous woman and a French teacher in the old style. She sat down at her desk, folded her hands in front of her and spoke to you in French. That was how she taught French. And she was amazing. So we read Fred in French and saw it in English. And then she mocked the production mercilessly en français. It was fabulous. And and in any case, what does it have to do with Rameau? Nothing. What happened is, what happens is that Rameau had to do, write, wrote his first opera in 1733. He was 50 years old. And it's based on the plot of Fred. And it's, you know, Corneille's Racine. That's Racine's tragedy, Fedre. And, you know, it's, it's really a, a very simple story. Phaedra's married to Theseus. She's in love with his son, Hippolyta, who's in love with Aresia. And Phaedra poisons herself, and, and, and Hippolyta gets eaten by a sea monster, and Theseus leaves his realm to Aresia. Get it? This takes five acts with a prologue. Now, what Rameau did... Um, as opposed to his predecessor, Lully, causing a huge controversy. I mean, it was France, France, right? I mean, there was a riot. There was like, well, it wasn't a riot, but there was, you know, the Lullists who loved Lully and the Ram, Ramists or Ramovians or Ramotniks, whatever they were called, who were favoring Rameau. He just, he just wrote the crap out of it. I mean, he was an amazing composer with rich, juicy orchestration, and henceforth, French opera and theatrical music would have rich, juicy orchestration, fabulous orchestration. He had amazing, virile, rhythmic dance pieces because each act had to have a divertissement. I mean, Lully did that, but Rameau's dances were really heavy-duty, rhythmically juicy dances with amazing orchestration. I mean, Hippolyte and Ed Arissi has got flutes, oboes, bassoons, horns, trumpets, timpani, mu uh, two musettes, like bagpipe thingies, and other percussion and stuff. I mean, it's just it's just gloriously scored. Um, he enriched the arias. I mean, the whole thing had more music. And what people objected to was the fact that, as in Amadeus, it had too many notes. It was considered too learned. It wasn't popular enough. It wasn't simple enough for uneducated ears. And that's a big deal because remember, in those days that the audience was, you know, had expectations that composers tried to meet. But Rameau was so gifted um, in so many of the musical fundamentals. He wrote big, juicy pieces packed with music. 
And this is the first of them. After that, he had a whole career writing for the theater. I mean, tons and tons and tons of stuff. And all of these pieces have been revised like 30 trillion times. But essentially, essentially, the piece is just a glorious sequence of, of dances and scenes um, that describe the story. And he gave it a happy ending in his opera, because, well, you know, it's an opera. It's got to have a happy ending most of the time. Um, Hippolyte gets resurrected so he can, you know, spend the rest of his life with Aricia or Arici, and they can live happily ever after. Um, in the in the original tragedy by Racine, they all die, um, which is perfectly fine because if you saw the production I saw, you wanted them to die. But anyway, that was that's the piece. It is so characteristic not only of Rameau himself but of everything that would characterize French music afterwards. The love of the dance, the, the formal elegance, the shapeliness, the gorgeous orchestration. It's, it's just wonderful, absolutely wonderful. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.